In this video, we're going to take a look at the Brunner Innovation Swiss made CLSE NG Economy Force Feedback Flight Yoke for flight simulation. Here we go. All the way from Switzerland to the United States in 10 days flat. Nice box and instruction manual came along. Here's the rig we'll be mounting this to, sitting right there, ready for that beautiful flight simulation. Of course, an array of cables for both AC and USB. And there's that pesky instruction manual again. I'd just like to say that I purchased this item with my own money and no discounts were given by Brunner. Overall, email support was quick and helpful. Ordering was simple, instructions were nice, and online instructions and downloads are available if they are needed. The NG is the baby brother to the $1,000 more CLSE full-sized flight yoke, which is also force feedback. It is larger and heavier, but also has a lot more travel. Although more economical, it still comes in at a $1,500 ship to my door price tag. Overall, it seems to be well made with heavy duty construction, no plastics, mostly metals. I do not know the exact weight, but it isn't light, but it isn't extremely heavy and seemed to be a good fit for my motion rig, which has to stay balanced in order for it to work properly. Taking a look at the underside, you can clearly see it's a big sheet of aluminum, which makes it very easy to mount to a sim rig or basically anything that you could think of. You could also mount it to a piece of plywood and clamp it to a tabletop if you so desired. When the unit is not powered on, all axes are freely moving and glide very smoothly in and out. Although travel is about half of what the CLSE, the big brother, has, I don't think I will really notice it. My previous yoke, the Diagma, I purchased from eBay, which I do not recommend, had double the amount of travel that this does, like the CLSE, big brother would have. And to be honest, it was just too much travel. You have to pull it back so far that I felt I had to sit very far back in the simulator, in which case things just didn't seem as realistic, and I couldn't feel the pedals properly. So overall, I think that this is going to be plenty. From what I've heard on their website, they offer some kind of LED display that can go in here to do I don't know what, but I don't feel as though I'll be using it since I fly mostly in VR. Looking over to the left of the yoke, we have quite a few buttons and they all seem to be very quality with very nice presses. You have a rocker and then uh, three buttons that basically, you know, are very solid feeling and you know that you're pressing them. Moving over to the left side, we have a, basically it feels like a, an Xbox uh, control just kind of moves around like a mouse pointer. I'm not sure exactly how it works just yet. And as you can see, it also will click. So it is in fact a button. Now, as we move towards the back side where the other uh, side had a button, there is unfortunately nothing. So that's basically what you get on that side. Overall, looking at quality of the actual yoke, there's definitely a bit of a lip on the one side that my hand does catch. And I think fit and finish and quality could have been, you know, just a little bit better on that side. The other side is beautiful. Actually, all sides are beautiful. That's really the only spot uh, that does catch my finger a little bit. Uh, overall, it does feel a little plasticky in your hands. Maybe some kind of rubberized grip you could put around it. Uh, would make it definitely feel a little bit more realistic, and I may end up doing that over time. But again, overall, I'm satisfied. As far as size goes here, it is a little small compared to the last yoke that I had, and I wanted to do like a reference so you could kind of see, maybe everyone has one of these uh, simple squares, 
and uh, you know just so you can get an idea of it's not exactly the largest yoke in your hand but again it's gonna do the job and uh, you know I think feel more more than realistic if you're in a good simulator and here I'm gonna just provide some accurate measurements that way in case you're considering purchasing the CLSC NG uh, from Brunner then you'll know exactly how big uh, things are and uh, travel wise and uh, you know you don't have to guess like I kind of did so without actually having the time to install it and really use it yet overall I'm very happy now that could change once I start using it but from what I can imagine it's going to be truly amazing the other yoke I was using was not a force feedback it was simply some rubber bands inside that create tension so let's say air hits uh, your left wing you're not going to notice uh, in the game it's just going to kind of rise up maybe in your VR but here you're going to actually feel the the power of the wind on your ailerons I mean that is hopefully going to be breathtaking and I really can't wait to give that a shot look out for part two of this a full review and uh, in flight use of course as that's how we do it here I really hope that you enjoyed this video and might have helped you out a little bit don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell that's it for this video we'll catch you later thanks for watching